Random node. This is gonna be a fun one. We're gonna play with some uh, probabilities and some weights. Yeah. <laughs> So from time to time, you may want to have some randomized things show up. Maybe it shows up, maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Well, we're gonna find out. So let's create a flow graph. And I'm gonna do the entire video here just for this particular node. So create node, utilities, random node. This uses a weight system when it chooses its um, uh, its selection. So right now I have zero and zero percent. Let's say UI node, and let's say another UI node. So let's say uh, option one. Option one. Let's create another UI node, and this will be option two. And you will see that the chances are zero. Right now, this node is locked. You cannot do anything with it. So if I enter play mode, the entire flow will be uh, blocked here. Let me just show you. So you should never leave it without at least one connection. And let's put node down here, actually here. So you can see what we're doing. All right. So let's enter play mode and you'll see that this node will get activated and now everything is blocked because it didn't have an exit option. Never leave it like that. All right. So let's go back here. And when we connect here, there's a 100 chance probability it will go here <laughs> in the option one. And let's also create some, um, there's a portal for this. No, I'm going to use some pivots. So let's connect these here just so we can swing back and yeah that's nice another pivot all right so connect here and you should connect back here all right so now let's start the, the fun with randomness so now every time the random node will go to that option when we connect the second option, now there's a 50-50 chance that we might go with option one or we might go with option two. Of course, we can, uh, we can change the probabilities just by adding some weights. So if I lower the probability, there's a 20% chance it's option one and 80% chance it's option two. All right, let's add one more option. And let's create a UI node. I'm just going to do this uh, at runtime so we do not waste time. All right. And this will be my option three. So, for example, you may want or to show one ad or a different ad or something like that. And you can use this option to have a small chance to show something special for the user. And yeah, let's say let's connect this here. Come on. All right. So let's also add this. You will see that the weight changed instantly. So now we have 44 chance just because of the weights. So if I say, all, if I put all the weights at 50%, so 50, 50, 50, we will have the same chances, 33%, right? If I lower the chance for option number one, check it out. So I can say 1% chance you have this option that can be something great. And 50-50 for the other two. Of course, these are rounded values. It's not really 50-50, but... And you can increase the chance for one of the options. Let's say 75%, 50 and 25. And this is how this would look. Of course, once you add more and more options, the math will, will uh, adapt. This is like a lottery where you buy tickets. So basically option number one bought 75 tickets to the lottery. Option number two bought 50 tickets and the last one bought 25. And out of the whole, that's the percentage for, uh, for this. So this is the random node and how you might want to use it. And as you can see, it jumps 
uh, from one to the other. If I lower the chance for option number one to zero, it's zero chance, so we will not see it. If I lower this again, of course, we can go to option number three. One more thing, you can access this random node through code. If you have the reference to, to the flow controller and thus to this graph, and you can adjust these values from code if you want to do that. And you can actually control the randomness, right? Yeah, so that's pretty much it for uh, this uh, random node. And uh, yeah, thank you very much.